This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. We're going to talk about PVC pipe today. So we have Schedule 80 pipe. Where this would be the pipe you can use a nipple and cut it and use it as a toe nipple out of a valve you can have schedule 40 three quarter inch that's here this is one inch schedule 40 and then you've got your schedule 80 that you can get in different colors as well for like if you're doing different types of fluid not just irrigation different types of chemicals that you're running through it comes in purple clear all different types of color for reclaimed or different chemicals that are running through it but our standard pipe is gonna be a piece of three quarter inch pipe, schedule 40. And you can have a PVC cutter. So this is your standard little PVC cutter that you would pick up anywhere. And if you cut it, it ratchets right here with a ratchet and then it cuts down and it cuts it smooth. One good, nice piece. Okay, so then I gotta cut it again because it doesn't look that good, but let me, Sometimes you got to make sure you get a nice smooth cut on it. A little bit better. But the cut, the uh, this blade right here seems to be worn out a little bit. So what you can take is a reamer like this. So here I got one inch on this side, three quarter on the other side. So when you don't have it and it's smooth, so what you do is that because you, you've got a flat edge on it, you take this and you ream the pipe cleaning off any burrs, any sharp edges for the pipe. And then it rounds it so it's a round piece, real nice. So normally if you cut it, it's flat like that. And then when you're sticking it in the fitting itself, it, what it does is you put the glue on the fitting and you're gonna push it into here. And when you push it in there, you're gonna push all the glue to the back. So if I bevel it a little bit, like I did right here, it rounds the edge, rounds the edge in the inside, then when it pushes on, the glue goes evenly over the pipe and in the fitting, and then you do a little quarter turn on when you're gluing it. So you never wanna just cut the pipe and then push it, because if I cut it in half after I put it in, you would see all it does is really is just push the glue to the back of the fitting, the 90 or the T or the coupling you're using. So what it's gonna do is it's just gonna push it back and then it's flat and it's going to end up pushing all the glue to the back of this right here. So what I do is bevel it a little bit and then it makes it much easier so it doesn't, it's got a little edge on it and it would push the glue around the fitting itself, around the pipe right here and make it smooth and then I'd put it in nice and tight here. So it would go in really smooth and simple. So this is a, clue, uh, a clear fitting from Dura that I'm using, just the demo, but I just bevel all the pipe. So these things are just a couple dollars. And you can see it fits in here real nice. And you always wanna bevel your pipe when you're sticking it in. So it's catching the inside right here. So it's real simple. If I've got a one inch pipe, I can stick it right here. And I'm turning it and scraping the edge off of it and kind of rounding it. But you can see when you cut it, look at the nick on that. It doesn't always come out really smooth on a cutter. You can see it, it didn't even cut it that smooth straight on it. So you need a nice cutter. Let me try this one and see if this works. This is another one that is out on the market. And that cut a little smoother, but not as, as good as I'd like. Really, a lot of times if you just got a hacksaw, you can cut it just as well and it'll be perfectly smooth, but you're going to have a lot of burrs on it. So when you have a lot of burrs on it, you want to deburr it. So you want to clean it, clean the edge off, and then be able to push it into the fitting to the coupling. But you can see it go in right there with deburring it. So those are tips of the day on PVC pipe. You have class pipe, you have schedule 80 pipe, you have schedule 40 pipe. You want to make sure that you have a good cutter that you have with you that cuts it straight or use a hacksaw straight in there. Make sure that you bevel it. So the main point of this video is make sure that you have a pipe reamer and you always clean your fittings and wipe them off. Thanks a lot. Please uh, subscribe to our channel and leave a little message. Thank you.